everyone. Japan and the island nation consider a strong navy as an important prerequisite for ensuring its national security, especially given its proximity to relatively inhospitable coasts such as North Korea and Russia at present. The presence of a strong navy reflects the existence of a strong component, especially the submarine fleet. The country's elite leaders fully understand the importance of this and are making every effort to ensure this. Japan's submarine fleet is capable of carrying out tasks necessary to protect national security. On March 9, 2022, an important milestone was reached with the receipt of this new submarine from the 29SS project in the Indonesian Navy. The submarine represents a new type of diesel-electric submarine, which is the first type of submarine in the series of developments. Through this video, we will provide more in-depth information on this subject, the submarine, and try to foresee the further development steps in Japan. Submarine Program Although the Japanese Navy is not nuclear-powered, their submarines have 22 non-nuclear multipurpose submarines which are efficient and meet current needs. Two of them are the submarines Owashio and Soryu, which are the oldest of their group. The submarine Owashio, with registration number SS-590, entered service with the fleet on the 16th of March, 1998. Despite the opinion that these submarines are old, in hindsight, some relatively new Russian submarines and American nuclear-powered submarines, such as the USS Ohio SSGN-726 commissioned in 1981, are still in active service throughout. According to Japanese experts, their submarines are the most technologically advanced and pose a significant potential threat to the enemy. However, one can see Japan has no plans to stop developing its underwater power. This is what is at the heart of the new Project 29SS, which aims to replace obsolete submarines in the future. This new project combines modern systems with ideas previously considered obsolete, creating an interesting concept. One of the important aspects of this project is the approach to a submarine power plant. Sterling's engine was a key element in his previous project, which was known as your sorry boat. This term refers to the concept of an anaerobic engine that relies on an external heat source. The submarine's power system on the surface is powered by diesel engines, but when operating underwater, the submarine switches to using electric motors driven by batteries. However, in the Tiger Diesel Electric Submarine Project, their approach differed from previous projects. They use lithium-ion batteries which have superior parameters compared to traditional acid batteries. However, the decision to use this battery does not come without downsides. Firstly, the cost of these batteries is high. During the process of charging and using, the battery may generate heat which can rarely cause problem circumstances, such as a violation of the operating mode of the battery which can emit toxic fumes or even cause a fire.